Of course, the smallest size they have here is a medium. Welcome to orthopedics, I guess. Obviously, I am not in Augusta now. I'm in Savannah for part one of two of my surgery rotation. Our surgery rotation is, again, like all the others, six weeks, but it's broken up into three weeks of subspecialty and three weeks of general. Right now, I am on my three weeks of subspecialty, which is in orthopedics in Savannah, Georgia. It is definitely nice to be out of Augusta in an academic setting, especially because this is my last rotation block at this point in the year. I think me as well as everybody else is pretty worn out and tired. And believe me, I kind of feel for the people who are doing their last rotation in surgery at MCG. Cause I thought my morning routine was bad. And then I look at them. Now, just because I'm not working at an academic institution does not mean my schedule is any less surgery. I'm not even just saying this to bluff. My mornings start around 5, 5.15 in the morning. Simply getting up to do Anki because if I'm not doing cards then, I physically will not have the energy or literally not have the time by the end of the day to get all the cards done I need to on top of doing the practice questions and the extra reading. So I traded being in the hospital at five o'clock to being up in my room, slapping a space bar at 5 a.m. But then I'm usually out of the house by 6.30 or seven. After using AMBOSS to review some of my physical exam skills, as well as the relevant anatomy for some of the cases that we're doing today. Most days are clinic in the morning and then cases in the afternoon. The place I'm working at is pretty cool because they have a surgery center right upstairs. Not gonna lie, probably the nicest place I have ever worked. But clinic is typically really, really busy. We're seeing a lot of pre-op as well as post-op patients doing joint injections whenever necessary. And one of the cool things about my attending is that he is literally the sports medicine doc for the Savannah State football team, Tormenta, I believe some for Georgia Southern, the Savannah Bananas, you know, that crazy sports team that's made headlines all over the country. So we see a ton of athletes that need treatment or are really hurting after playing an entire football season with an injury. And after all that, we go upstairs to do cases. Today we have a meniscal repair and a rotator cuff repair, I believe. So the AMBOSS Knowledge Bank has been super, super helpful in reviewing some of that anatomy. So I know what the heck I'm looking at when we're in the OR. Oh, and because this campus is awesome, all the food is free for students. So time to go grab some fuel for the long day.
waterproof duck boots. Okay, so now that that's over, and I'm back home for just a few days for Thanksgiving break. This one's gonna take a little bit of reflection. Also, does anybody know how they get 42 grams of protein in these? Obviously, you can tell I've been on orthopedics for the past three weeks. But honestly, this rotation was really interesting in so many different ways, and it simultaneously got me both clarity and new mud as far as where to really take my career. Now, first reflection is this is the first time I've been in just pure, pure private practice. And I gotta say, the dynamic is very different. In academic settings, it is very much you're on salary, you want to get the most out of every encounter, you want to sit, listen, and be there because no matter how many patients, more or less you see, you're still getting paid the same. Whereas here, it is very much eat what you kill, so it's all about speed. I still remember the first day on my rotation in clinic, I tried to do my typical academic presentation of this is a 57 year old male, past metacosty, blank, 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 and he's like, you know what? That's great and all, but every med student do does this. I need seven minutes to go from room to room, so just tell me what you think it is, why you think it is that, and what do you want to do about it? And I was like, oh, it's not a bad thing. It's just like the pace is so much faster. Thankfully, my attending was an amazing, amazing teacher. And in the OR was pointing out all different kinds of structures. So some of the cool things I got to do were ACL reconstructions where you take a bit of the hamstring tendon and then literally make a new ACL and then like tunnel through your femur and your tibia and then just pull it through. On top of reverse and anatomic shoulder replacement, hip replacement, some of course, open reduction, internal fixations of fractures, a ton of shoulder scopes, and menis menisectomies, which are all done arthroscopically, which I really love because obviously cameras are cool. And I think a weird sensation hit me. I really like this. And it's creating even more mud to my medical career, specialty choice fiasco that's been going on because I really, really loved what they did. There's nothing more rewarding than giving somebody the ability to live their life again and be able to move and even touch the top of their head and shampoo their own hair. And it can be fixed like that in one operation and with PT. Oh, and you know, there's like a pediatric route you can go to, which unfortunately the pediatric orthopedic surgeon at the practice was about to retire. So I didn't get to spend too much time with him, but regardless, I like strangely loved what they did. But at the same time, I'm tired. Now, I don't really know if this is just having surgery as my last rotation, which in all honesty, if I were to do it all again, I probably wouldn't have. Or it's the fact that I was waking up really early, finishing cases at like six, coming home at 6.30, trying to take care of myself and then have maybe two and a half, three hours to study before I needed to go to bed really early to reasonably wake up really early again and do it all over again. I didn't really have too much time for this or to eat, take care of myself, to do laundry, which is weird. So I was constantly battling this feeling of, I really like this and I wanna be there more, but then I'm really tired. And I think it's getting to a point where I kind of have to admit that I'm feeling a little bit burnt out from rotations and everything. And I really think that if I didn't have to come home and study, I would be enjoying things so much more. But man, orthopedics kind of snuck up on me. And the fact that I was in Savannah and I was around palm trees and nice, happy coastal areas probably played a factor in my mental health still being like, decently okay. Big shout out to Tyler for letting me stay with him and three more weeks of general surgery and I'm done. See you guys then. Oh, and 